High country also getting some heavy rain today. Yeah, those in the path of the Schultz and Pipeline fire burn scars especially concerned. They have already been flooded out this season. Amy Cutler is live in those hard hit areas just north of Flagstaff. Amy, how are folks there doing? Well, Jamie, they are breathing a sigh of relief right now. That's because that heavy rain has dissipated at this point. They uh, were really watching things closely earlier in the day when they saw some of that heavier sustained rain. But this is the big concern right over my right shoulder here. You can see all of this rock, this debris. This was all up on the mountain. Floodwaters brought this down uh, earlier this season. There is just a lot of rock and debris here covering this field. This is where uh, Kathy Waldrop calls home. This is her yard. This had been a field. She moved from the valley back before the Schultz fire. She tells me there was some flooding that year, but nothing like what she has experienced this year. She tells me the county's plan is to move all of these rocks and put a 12 foot concrete culvert through the area. That's the county plan. It would go right under Highway 89. So it will cut through a big part of her land. Still, she says, there's no way around it. I asked her what it's like seeing rain in the forecast. Not this rain, the rain we had about two hours ago, yes, because it, when it comes pouring down, there's nothing you can do. And once a lot of this is concreted, it's going to run harder and faster. So yeah, it, and, it, and it makes me a little bit nervous. However, we have learned to uh, keep an eye on the sky. Now, Waldrop, much like her neighbors, taking precautions, putting down sandbags. Some also have concrete barriers in place. For most, that has seemed to work, keeping the waters from their homes. As for the damage done right here from all of these floodwaters, it is really hard to, uh, to really put into perspective. You have to really see it. Look at that. That is 12 feet high of just rocks that were right in the path of all of this water. It's it's amazing to kind of see the force and power of all of these floodwaters and what they can do. 12 feet high, just all of that rock. Now, the county is trying to put that mitigation plan into effect to build that culvert. They're hoping to have it done by the next monsoon season. Homeowners tell me it can't be built soon enough. Live in Flagstaff, Amy Cutler, Arizona's Family. Amy, thank you.